going to have a quick look at text wrap today. What I've started with is a new document, an A4 portrait document, and I'm going to place an image on that document. To do that, I come up to File, Place, and I navigate out to where my image is. I'm using this one, Skull JPEG, Place, and it loads up my cursor so I can click or I can drag and drop. I prefer to drag and drop to put it into the space I want it to. It's a little bit over my page, so I'm just going to do a quick, quick clipping mask. To do that, I select my rectangle tool, So I've made my rectangle with both selected, I right mouse button click, make clipping mask, and now it's a nice and even shape for my A4. Now I'd like to add some text into this space here, and I'm going to draw a shape for the text to wrap around the skull. So what I do is I create a text box, it will automatically fill with um, some text, but I actually have um, some different text I'd like to pop in there. So I'm just going to, alas poor Yorick, I knew him well. So I'm going to select that, command copy, and command paste into my text box. Now I could do a couple of things here. I could come in with my direct selection tool and actually move my text box. Um, but as you can see, I mean it doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't go into all these really interesting parts of the skull. Instead what I would like to do, I'm just going to command Z, um, I'm going to draw a shape with my pen tool around the skull and use text wrap. So with my pen tool selected, I'd like no fill and no stroke. And I'm just going to draw around my skull now, just quickly. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it's just um, where I don't want the text to go. So I wouldn't want the text to come into the mouth, so I won't draw inside there. Let's come around. So I could use Bezier curves, but I can really just click and drop my way around to create the shape. I'm going to come up to Object, down to Text Wrap, and come to Text Wrap Options. Now I just wanted to show you this really quickly because around this path I can also put an offset. So I can change that up and down a little bit. I'm going to make mine for today, okay? And then Object, Text Wrap, Make. Now you'll see this here is the four points that I just changed before. So if I added 10 points or 20 points, it would make that padding a bit bigger. But you can see that this shape has now applied a text wrap to my text box underneath. I can still change some things inside my text box, which will make this uh, type a little bit more dynamic. I'm going to, I might just change this to a different typeface. Let's see, maybe we'll make it sort of liking Archer at the moment. So. Let's go with Archer, I might move this onto a separate line, highlight, alas poor Yorick, I might make that this here, make it a bit bigger. Um, you can see though that's pushed some of my text out of the text box and I know that because it's come up with this overset text mark here. So I can fix that by dragging this down but then I end up with this really unusual little orphan down here. So there's a few ways I can fix that. I could highlight this text and make it all a little bit smaller, which looks quite nice. You might change some of the spacing of this text. Sometimes if you've got little words at the end of sentences, they look a bit floaty, like this A, so I'm just going to shift return to move that onto the next line. It just looks a bit nicer. Same here. Oh, actually, I'll put that back up there. It gives it a nicer flow. Excellent. So that's just a really quick look at how we can use text wrap uh, with a shape to make some really beautiful typographical posters. Thanks for watching.